This video will be approximately 10-15 minutes. And it's not a speech, uh, nothing premeditated. So, I'm going to start by talking about the recent visit to the United States of America by uh, Benjamin Yahoo. I think that is they call him that. Um, he's the uh, president of the 1947 established uh, Israel, as they call it to this day. Um, I'd like to just talk about some uh, factual truths concerning the 1947 um, Israeli government, modern day Israeli government, and its crimes against uh, the Middle East. Some of the, you that are familiar with my channel will have seen a video that I made uh, recently about the crimes of the modern day Israeli government against the Middle East and uh, against the countries that it is uh, stealing land from, uh, such as Gaza. It's been happening for decades. Uh, since the establishment of 1947 Israel, and you can uh, find all the uh, uh, resources to, um, you know, to see that that is the fact in the uh, you know, uh, library that was established by former President Jimmy Carter. I looked over those documents through the years, and um, in my past two years I've been a supporter um, of the 1947 established, um, you know, Israeli government, and uh, it's uh, you know it's time for the whole world to wake up and see the truth uh, that is, um, you know, demanding to be recognized about this government and its crimes against the Middle East. Um, for a long time now, 1947 Israel has been guilty of stealing land uh, from the southern lands um, in Gaza, stealing land, pushing back the border of the ancestors, um, you know, claiming um, in error that, you know, that they have claimed the territory there. Uh, to give a little bit of history uh, about the establishment of 1947 Israel, I will say that 1947 Israel was established by Christendom and uh, some of the same powers that uh, uh, the ancient uh, Arabs uh, who are the natives of the Middle East uh, along with the Bedouin tribesmen uh, who live to the day uh, and dwell in tents just as, just as uh, Abraham their forefather dwelt in tents many 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 um, uh, you know, centuries, ages ago, and uh, uh, to this day, they're the only peoples that you might find uh, living like Abraham lived uh, as a as a native tribal uh, bloodline uh, existing uh, in the Middle East. And the truth about it is that the Israeli government has been guilty of being bullies, um, using tanks to um, roll over and crush infants. Um, while they're still nursing from their mothers and uh, tents where uh, they were um, living on their land um, and um, in error the 1947 Israeli government and the criminals that um, run those governments uh, to this day including Benjamin Netanyahu you can be the judge whether or not you believe that Benjamin Netanyahu is a wolf in sheep's clothing um, I will tell you that he is uh, guilty of uh, building a prison uh, to um, to house not only immigrants that uh, you know were there invited uh, to Israel uh, some decades ago to do work and to uh, to have a, uh, a safe haven, but also um, a genetically um, similar peoples that were collected throughout the world uh, who have the same um, you know Y chromosome trait that uh, a lot of the people there um, in that um, um, you know territory hold as far as a genetic marker for what 
determines who is a Hebrew and who is not. So what they ended up doing was, uh, you know, deciding one day, one night, that they would take these people who had, uh, you know, been, uh, you know, transported uh, via uh, Aaliyah, a, uh, was the name of the, uh, uh, the transport, because um, I, being a Christian in my past, although I'm not a Christian anymore, um, I paid money, along with many other people who paid money to the house, uh, these people transported to Israel, and now those people are being detained and uh, tortured and uh, imprisoned in a, um, a, a terrible a place that they built in the Negev Desert. That's a prison that's built there uh, that uh, they send, uh, you know, immigrants and lower class, um, you know, Israelis to, to uh, you know, to, to be mistreated, uh, to be raped, uh, to have genetic experiments um, um, conducted and performed on them. Um, and uh, the world has to wake up and see this and speak against it same way as I'm speaking against it now. Um, the Israeli government, uh, as I said before, was founded uh, by Christendom. Um, now, in the, in the ancient past, um, you know, people who, who sought native people, uh, to mention, who sought to, to uh, you know, to keep their native land during the Middle East, um, great leaders such as Saladin, um, he is the one who's responsible for beheading the Templars and the um, um, the deceitful liars in Christendom who tried to steal the Middle East, much like um, the invaders who stole North America from the Native Indians, or the Native Americans. And so, Islam, as I've told you before, was um, created. Um, in the Middle East, although it did not exist as a religion before, um, because during the time of Muhammad and before that, they simply followed the Mosaic Law, and there was not a, such a thing as Islam or Islam religion. Um, and uh, to the day, um, looking back in the past, after the wars. Uh, that Saul indeed waged against Christendom uh, and its invaders and impostors, um, there were uh, alliances formed. Uh, those alliances um, represented the alliances between peoples uh, of Hebrew uh, or Jewish, if you want to call it that, uh, and uh, Arab and Muslim uh, and, uh, and Christian um, inhabitants. Uh, around Jerusalem, because remember, Jerusalem was destroyed and was taken over by uh, foreign invaders in the time of Alexander the Great, they call him. Um, from that time, when uh, Jerusalem was uh, ravaged and destroyed, a Hellenistic uh, religion began to take root in that place. Um, and it didn't really belong there. There have been wars and fighting there since that took place, and uh, all the way up until 1947, uh, when the Christian nation, um, America, decided to back uh, some of the people there, the Zionist, uh, Zionist terrorists, who uh, you know wanted to claim the land for themselves. Um, there's there's been nothing but war and fighting, and uh, you know, that is all that will continue as long as in 1947 the Israeli government exists. There will not be peace in the Middle East as long as in 1947 the Israeli government exists because it is a foreign government that is in a land um, that does not accept it because it does not belong there. Um, I will say that the ideals of that nation if anyone could cut through all the uh, confusion and try to understand that what is the national religion of 
the so-called state of Israel to this day? What is it they follow? Is it Judaism, Christianity, you know, Islam? Uh, you'll find that within the government, the secular, um, you know, type of um, uh, government officials, um, they they don't really have a religion. Uh, they just simply make up their own rules. Uh, they kick native people off their lands, and they massacre them. Um, they destroy them, um, such as in the case of Benjamin Netanyahu. He's guilty of ordering, um, you know, a great number of citizens, women, children, and young men, to their deaths uh, because of bombing campaigns and uh, and other. Um, errors that were made by the Israeli army and air force where they uh, you know decided to wage a war against Gaza citizens uh, for, for no other apparent reason than stealing their gas and resources and um, to the day and to the point um, the same officials including Netanyahu uh, Benjamin Net Netanyahu and others are resisting uh, an international effort to have them investigated for war crimes. So in this video I urge you to just look at the truth. Um, you know, for years they have, um, you know, come up with all these different scenarios where, you know, they make it seem that the whole world ends if Israel, the 1947 Israeli government, is basically what that means, Israel nowadays. If, if it gets attacked and destroyed, they make it look like the whole world has come to an end. And that's just not so. Why shouldn't Iran have a nuclear facility to where it can, uh, you know, uh, create power to um, have lights for its citizens, uh, just like America or any other nation? Uh, the truth about it is, um, in the Middle Eastern conflicts, um, the Israeli government, 1947, Israel's guilty of being the instigator in all those instances. Uh, they are, uh, as a fact to this day, um, supplying what they call the IS, IS uh, Islamic, um, you know, um, state of Syria, whatever it is that they call it. They are supplying those people with the weapons and the, the funding that they need um, uh, and are actually allies with uh, Syria at this point and uh, and the uh, butchering and murdering of uh, many peoples uh, in the Middle East and just to take a, take a second out to speak about um, the Islamic uh, State of uh, you know of Syria and, and, and some people call that ISIS but I you know I urge you not to call it that because that is the name of a of a, of a of an Egyptian god who was uh, then accepted by uh, Western uh, powers, Roman powers, because of the intermingling of the Roman and the Egyptian um, upper class. And so this has all been done, in my opinion, uh, in a very strategic way to um, create fear mongering in other countries. Uh, to make you think that uh, you know it's it's Islam to blame when it's not true. Um, first of all, the ISIS does not follow Islamic law. Nowhere in the Quran does it say that butchering the neck of a person uh, and cutting off their head is is uh, is uh, you know something that's okay. Um, the specific law about beheading a person. Um, as you can see in Saudi Arabia or anywhere else that the government has uh, and still is observing that law is that the head is taken away with one sword strike, a smite. That's what smite means, to strike. It's taken away quickly so that the person does not suffer. And in many religious texts you will find that torture of a person, the human being, uh, actually takes all the wrongs of that person. Um, and the, the wrongs that that person was guilty of when a person is torturing them by cutting their head off slowly 
with a, with a butter knife, basically. Um, all the wrongs of that person being tortured is transferred to the person who's doing the torture. So nowhere in the Quran is it, you know, permissible to slowly butcher a person's head off with the knife, uh, and uh, it is a terrible, sick thing that is going on in the Middle East. That uh, Israel is joined the 1947 Israeli government is joining with ISIS, funding them. Uh, to uh, you know, to commit these acts of terror throughout the Middle East. Now again, you can do your own research. I've done my research. I'm saying what I believe about 1947 Israel because I don't believe that, that it, it represents Israel. I just believe it is is, is a, a government that was um, formulated and brought into power by a foreign power from the Western viewpoint that represents Christendom, which is a uh, Greco-Roman uh, stylized uh, religion uh, that uh, was responsible for um, massacring, stealing Jerusalem from, first of all, from the Hebrews, the Jews, whatever you like to call them. And uh, then I uh, continued on in errors uh, to try to steal the land uh, that was rightfully there, uh, you know, as an inheritance for the native Arabs uh, that that uh, you know that have the right to the sands and the lands of the Middle East there in the Negev, from north, south, and east to west. So I like to also state in this video, in the closing of it, that I'm not a Muslim, I'm not of Islam, I'm not a Christian, you know, I'm not of any cult, um, I'm not of any Judaism. I've studied all of those religions. I'm not a Luciferian. I'm not a Satanist. I'm not a Mason or any any sort of uh, you know the what they consider to be the underground cults uh, in society, religious society. I'm not a Buddhist or Hindu or anything. I'm just a person uh, who who has an opinion about this uh, 1947 Israeli government and its evil crimes that are being waged against of the people of the Middle East, and it has to stop. So I urge you to look, take another look at this, um, you know, and look at it in a, in a way that is open-minded and seeing that, you know, every single thing that you see on the news is not always shown to you, uh, you know, the way that it actually is. So I'd also like to state in this video that, you know, for instance, in the Quran, you have the name Jesus actually in the Quran. And this is a confusion. Uh, you know, if any, if any name, and like I said before, I'm not a Muslim, and I'm not of Islam, but uh, uh, I don't believe that the name of the son of Zeus has any, any bearing. I don't believe that it has any place in the Quran. Because it is a foreign... Um, you know, it's a, it's a foreign god, basically. And so, you know, I, I believe that the Middle East has a lot of issues. It's going to have to work out um, for itself. And that uh, all the foreign um, interference from other countries is just going to prolong, um, you, know, you know, the wars that will take uh, to get... Um, you know, to the point to where they're done fighting about it, and that they've, they've reached a resolution among themselves. Uh, so, I'm going to end the video here by telling you that, uh, um, you know, don't, don't support the 1947 Israeli stance on uh, stealing lands that are south, you know, of its, uh, you know, 1947 founded Jerusalem. Um, you know, they've, they've even angered the Egyptian government so that the Egyptian government is sending planes uh, bombing ISIS, uh, claiming that, you know, they're taking revenge for, uh, you know, uh, Egyptian, you know, blood that was uh, spilled for the people that were tortured and had their heads slowly butchered off by uh, butter knives. So Israel's really sticking its feet in some deep mud 
and uh, you know, you know, there's, there's there's really no need for all these other countries to go get involved, and um, you know, it's it's it you know the 1947 Israeli um, tactic of ethnic cleansing, stealing lands from the Bedouin and the native Arabs, and um, you know, sooner or later they're going to have to answer for their crimes, and it's unfortunate for them, but. As I said before, they don't belong where they are. Uh, they've only been there, and they've been tolerated for as long as they have because people don't really realize that they are the leftover remnants of the Roman invasion, uh, where the you know the um, you know the Greco-Roman um, you know Greek armies came in there and massacred everything. You know, raped all the um, Jewish and whatever Hebrew. Um, inhabitants and kind of just assimilated them into their culture which is a Hellenistic um, observation and has been since that time. So I have to say for now um, uh, I hope this video will awaken you to some of the truths about the 1947 Israeli government. I'm not an anti-Semite for instance. Uh, I don't want this to be taken as any anti-Semitic um, you know um, material because there are plenty of Jews around the world who are very angry uh, the 1947 Israeli government uh, and don't agree with what they're doing uh, again I'm not a, I'm not a Jew um, you know if I were to classify myself as a as a race I would have to classify myself as a multicultural mongoloid because I'm uh, you know, made up of just about every type of people that there is from every nation. But um, I will say that uh, you know the 1947 Israeli government and its leader Benjamin Netanyahu have got themselves into position to where they are angering um, all the countries around uh, from the north to the south, east to the west. So again do not stand with the 1947 Israeli government and its um, tactics of ethnic cleansing and um, thievery, stealing the lands of the natives uh, that have existed on Middle Eastern sand for centuries. And that's all I'm going to say about that for now. I'll be with you in another video. Thank you.